welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. Today I have the rest of the unboxing from the last video. Um, FedEx had a little bit of trouble picking it up from the breeder, um, but I got her today. And I want to start off the video by introducing Maddie. Say hi. Hi. Um, Maddie is my little girl. She's almost three years old. And I kind of want to start off um, showing you my Pastel NG Freeway uh, hatchling. She was born in October. Um, I got them from the ball python shed. Um, their name shows up as like Josh and Jackie when you're on Morph Market. I have purchased all of my highways and freeways from them because they just have amazing stuff. And that's what this girl is. She's actually an adult proven breeder, uh, Pastel Enchi Freeway. Um, you don't come up, you know, see them too often. So I wanted to, uh, Definitely purchase that so I can have her for next season. Um, but I wanted to show you the differences between what it look like when they're babies and they're adults because um, I don't know if a lot of people know, but there's a lot of snakes, uh, morphs, that look nothing the same when they're babies compared to what they look like when they're adults. So I want to show you what these two look like because they're the exact same snake. But I also wanted to show you um, with my daughter here how to... Uh, have little kids handle snakes. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a snake that is calm. Um, this girl is literally probably my most friendly, calm snake that I own, uh, even being a hatchling. Don't touch your face, okay? Um, so when you are, you know, when you have little kids, or even older kids, um, and they're not familiar with snakes, you want to have them put their hands out. Can you put your hands out like this, Maddie? Put them together, and look. I'll we'll, we'll put the snake right there. Okay, don't squeeze her. You want to make sure the kids, um, you know, aren't squeezing her. You want to make sure they have a nice, firm handle on them. Now, Maddie has been around snakes since she's been born. Um, so she's familiar with them. She's in here all the time when I'm cleaning them, taking them out of the racks. You are holding it. Is she nice? Oh, it's so cute. She's so cute. Look how nice she is. Oh, my pretty one. Yeah. Look at her. She's saying hi. She's smelling you. Um, so you just want to remind them to not squeeze the snake, to not, you know, grab the snake. Um, you pet it really nice. You pet it with one finger, put it on her back. Um, you know, stay away from their head. No sudden quick movements. And again, if you want to get your kid used to snakes, or even your wife, in my case, you want to make sure that you're picking a snake that is super calm. Um, that doesn't have any chance of showing aggression or being defensive. Um, and I have a lot of them. To I mean, most ball pythons are pretty reserved. I have some that are super flighty. I have a small handful that are super angry. And then I have ones like this little girl who are just the cutest little things and just fantastic, great, awesome personalities. Um, she's on your neck. She's on your shoulder. Look at her. Look. Oh, little necklace. Is she so nice? Is she so nice? Yeah, so cute. So, um, now this is the, the, the baby pastel inchy freeway. Um, let's see if I can handle getting her out of here at the same time that I'm holding that. Look, there's a sticker. That's a nice stick. I'll have to put that on my incubator in the ball python shed there. Mm -hmm. There you go. You want to hold that? Mm -hmm. I did it. Alright, so this girl... Um, I forget how big they said the clutch was. It was, I believe, maybe five or six eggs. All good. Um, I'll put you down for a minute, sweetie. Hey, Maddie, can you watch the snake? Mm -hmm. Let's see where she goes. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go off the table, okay? Tight knot. There we go. She's crawling all over. Now again, these are the exact same snakes. Past the lunch freeway. Nope, don't grab her. Don't grab her. You're gonna scare her, okay? They're trying to get the uh oh. Uh oh. Alrighty. Okay, so um, this is what the adult looks like, and this is what the baby looks like. They are pretty similar. Um, you know, the biggest difference is that these little kind of marks down her back 
kind of fade out and disappear. They turn into kind of sort of speckling a little bit. Um, the color, the yellow color is almost identical. Um, the darker, blacker, chocolatey color is almost the same. Um, and if you look at their head stamps, their head stamps are almost identical too. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, the snakes, as they get older, typically can lose pattern. You want to put your hands out like that, right there. there you go. They'll lose pattern more, more often than they'll gain a pattern. And to be honest, Patty, should talk? Okay. They'll usually lose pattern more than they'll gain pattern. Um, and colors can vary as well. I've seen colors remain nice and bright. I've seen other ones dull out a lot. Um, so it just really depends. You it, When you're looking at buying a snake, you may want to check to see if there's like adult versions that have been listed on Morph Market before to see, you know, if it's just a pet for you. If it's super bright when it's a baby and that's why you like it, check to see if it's going to be super bright when it's an adult because if it's not, you might be a little disappointed when it starts growing up. Um, but this girl is um, again a proven breeder. Uh, she definitely needs to put weight back on. She bred at the end of 2020. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do with her is pair her up to the Super Pastel Leopard Yellow Belly Clown Male I got to try to produce some freeway combos out of that plus have Het Clown in there too. Um, so she seems like she's a pretty good mood too. Good shape. Hopefully she can actually pack on because she bred, you know, at the end of last year um, and she's back on food at this point for a couple months. I'm probably not going to start breeding her until again next fall, maybe November, December. And at that point, I'm hoping she's like well over 2,000 grams. Um, maybe she'll be able to produce a little bit bigger of a clutch for us. So that's, um, you know, this is. This is baby and this is adult of the same snake, the Pastelenci Freeway. Um, they both seem like they're pretty chill and pretty calm. Um, so that's a awesome thing. And she's really, I think, really my first, my only female who's like kind of really bright yellow like this. So that's kind of neat too. Kind of neat, kind of a neat thing to show off. Um, so that is it for today. Thanks for stopping by. And Maddie, can you look at the camera and say bye? Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys.